Hello everyone. Welcome to the solutions for the ISI BSTAT and BMAT exams 2024. This exam has just concluded and we are looking into the solutions very fast so that we can give you an idea of where you stand after the exam. All right. If you need any help for the next year's exam, do contact the numbers given below. Okay. So these questions will be solved in no particular order because we have got the question paper just now and we're looking into solve them as fast as we can. All right. So just look into the sums. They might be on different serial numbers on your question paper because there are always different sets. All right. So the first question is question 21 that we are going to tackle here. It says consider the points n comma n to the power k where n and k are integers and n is greater than zero. Remember that n k is greater than equals to one. How many such points are strictly inside the circle of radius 10 with center at origin? So for this, we'll just look into the distance formula at the beginning, right? Distance formula. So if we have a point x comma y, right? Any point x comma y, then its distance from origin. This becomes root over of x square plus y square, right? And if the circle is centered at the origin, then for the points to be strictly inside the circle, this should be less than the radius, right? So then we put the points that we have here, right? So n square plus n to the power k whole square, the root over of this should be less than 10. Or I can say n square plus n to the power 2k, this should be less than 100, right? Now here we break them down into two or let's say a few more cases. So the first case will be k equal to one because k starts from one, right? At k equal to one, I have n square plus n square less than 100, which gives me two n square less than 50 or n square less than 50. So n I know is, n starts from zero, right? So zero, one, two, dot, 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 seven. Right. Now, what do these points look like? Let us look into that first. So at n equal to zero, the point will be zero comma zero. That's the origin, right? So these are the points that we have. Then at n equal to one, we would have one comma one, right? N equal to two, we are going to have k is one, right? So we are basically going to have all the diagonal points, right? So the diagonal points that we would have are two comma two, then three comma three, Similarly, four comma four dot dot dot. We can do this up to seven comma seven. So these are the points. And then we would check k equal to two. For k equal to two, we have n square plus n to the power four less than 100, right? Now this grows very fast. So we would have to check individual points. Start from n equal to zero. If I take n equal to zero, then zero comma zero is coinciding with the last zero comma zero that we had, right? So not a unique point. Let us keep it aside. Same with one, one comma one will also be here. Now what happens at two, right? So if n is equal to two, then n to the power k will be four, right? So this is a new point, right? And two square plus two to the power four. So four plus 16, 20, less than 100, done. Let us try with three, three square. Three square is nine, nine plus three to the power four is 81. Nine plus 81 is less than 90. So you can clearly see that after four, it'll exceed, right? Four to the power four is gone, 256. So I'll have one point from here, I think. That is three comma three square. So three comma nine, right? So this point will be there. And then we will take one more case, k equal to three. You can see how rapidly these are growing, right? So if this grows much more rapidly, I don't think we can keep up any other different points. So n cube plus n to the power six. Now here again, zero, zero, one, one, they are there. Let's try for two. So this will be two comma eight, right? Because two to the power three, we are looking at k equal to three. Does this work? Two to the power six is two cube whole square. So 64 plus four, 68, fine, it works. What about three? Three to the power six, no, that won't work, right? Because three to the power six becomes three square cube, nine cube, that is gone, 729. So we won't have any more points. So these are the only points that we are having. All right, so I have zero to seven. So there will be eight points here, right? Zero, one, two, three, four, you can count. There will be eight points here from zero to seven. And here you have three points. So in total, you are going to have 11 points. So that will be option A, all right? Now this problem, although appearing in ISA, you might think that this will be very difficult. No, this is a problem of simple coordinate geometry and counting. Okay, so I hope I could help you with this problem and that you have marked this one. 
if you are a new student you are going to appear for 2025 isi entrance exam then do contact the numbers given below they will be able to help you all right so i'll wrap up this video here and in the next video i'll pick up a different sum and i'll try to solve it again all right